Today I'm going to show you how you can view the FPS on your Samsung Galaxy smartphones, including the brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways. Number one is using PerfT and number two is using GPU Watch. So let's begin. Okay, so to get started, we'll head into the Galaxy Store and install game plugins. So yeah, there are a lot of ads. So we'll head into the search menu here and type game plugins. Wow, my typing is horrible. Game plugins, and then we can see I've already installed it. So once you click install, we open the app and then what will happen is that we show you a lot of different plugins, but what we're gonna download is PerfZ. Game Booster Plus is up to you if you want to use it or not. I usually just install and then I never really care about it that much. And just a quick highlight, this is all of my settings. I hit custom and then what I do is uh, tap on the game name. And then we can see all of the different things that we can set here. So what I'm going to do is apply to all games. I'm going to go for maximum FPS, maximum graphical quality and then focus on performance as you can see on the top here. So I'm going to hit apply and change. Okay, and now back to PerfZ. So once we install PerfZ, we can tap on it and then we can see all of the different options available to be shown on PerfZ. So usually I just enable everything because why not? And I'm using Celsius because yeah, we're using SI units anyway. And then we'll head into Game Launcher and launch Genshin Impact. And then we can see PerfZ in action. So now we've entered the game and we can see there's a new bar here that we can swipe in to enable the settings for PerfZ. So what I'm gonna do is to click on settings and then we can see all of the different settings available. So you can tap on all of these things. So this is enable or disable the FPS meter. Then CPU temperature, they have a few different layouts. So this is in percentage. This one is in a bar. And then this one is in a slightly different type of bar. So you do have options if you want to choose to, you know, customize however you want it. Same goes to the GPU and temperature is more direct. It's just on and off. And then the RAM is also on and off. So transparency means that you can see that you can control it to either be solid or semi-transparent or hidden. I don't know why you want to do that. And then white is to create this kind of white background. So again, it depends on what you want to do with it. So yellow, green, red, blue, dark. I usually use it in dark and that is why I have it like this. And then squares to change the layout like this. And then landscape view and also back to portrait. I usually just use it in portrait. I also turn off auto minimize because I want to look at the numbers all the time. So I just leave it like this. And then to pin it means that you can't drag it around, but I just leave it like this. So PerfZ is set up and you can see that when we move around in the game, the FPS meter jumps around. But PerfZ is not the only option that you can use to display all of this information. So I'm going to show you the second option that I always use. So let me just zoom out the camera for a while and then we can hit into the settings menu and then we go all the way down to about phone, software information and then we keep tapping on the build number to enable developer mode. Once we've done that, what we can do is go back out here, scroll all the way down and then we can see new developers option here in the settings menu. And what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to this part right here, GPU Watch. So once we found GPU Watch, we can tap on it, click Enable. And then what we can do here is to customize if you want. I'm just going to leave it all by default because by default, GPU Watch is already a very good tool. So now we'll just head back into the game and then we can see that all the graphs are available to display in the game. So let me just show to you the difference. This is PerfZ, whereby all the three graphs here are actually from the GPU Watch app. However, the context info is not working because I need to restart the game. So let me just do that real quick. There we go. Now that we've restarted the game, we can see the context information is now displaying correctly. 
Alright, that is how we enable either PerfZ or GPU Watch to monitor your FPS and also all of the other details like your CPU or GPU utilization. And uh, you can also monitor your RAM usage using PerfZ, but I think you can also do it using GPU Watch if I'm not wrong. Again, I left it all on default because most of the time you're just gonna monitor the FPS the CPU and GPU usage. Okay, so now we can see that the game is rendering at 1853 by 864 pixels and we can get about 44, 40-ish kind of FPS. There are a bit of discrepancy between this GPU watch FPS number and the PerfZ FPS number. That is usual, that is normal because we're using two monitoring apps at once which might affect the performance of the game overall. And yeah, that is the two methods that we can use to monitor frame rate of games on Samsung smartphones, namely either PerfZ or GPU Watch. So if you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.